spandex, go to a yoga class, roll out on your mat to do yoga. You can do yoga standing in line. Stand nice and tall. Start to focus your attention on your breathing. Start to fill up, expanding outward in your midsection, all the way around to the back, like you're filling up with water. And then start to fill up higher and higher into your rib cage area. Just start to expand. Take deeper and deeper breaths. And then make the exhales last longer and longer. See how long you can draw out an exhale. I got one up to a minute once. But start kind of slowly. You don't want to get dizzy or anything. Then if you notice after doing this breathing thing that you're still in line, there's still a lot of line to go, take your left hand, bring it around behind you, as far around to the right as you can, and then interlace your fingers, that's assuming that you don't have your checkbook in your hand, and try to draw your knuckles forward, and then of course do the other way, it's a great stretch along your arm and your shoulder. And if you're still waiting, do something that I call standing fish. You might have done yoga where you lie on your back and do a fish pose. Well, this is standing fish. Keep your mouth closed and then look up. Let your head fall back a little bit, but not too far back. You might fall into the person behind you. You get a great stretch along the front of the throat. And then bring your chin down to your chest. Hang there for a little while. You get a great stretch along the back of the neck. Then bring one ear down to the shoulder. Stretch the side. And then of course the other way. And if you're still standing. This next one is going to get you a little bit of attention. Take your left hand around behind you. See how low you can get that elbow. And then see how high up the middle of your back you can press the back of your hand. Then reach your right arm, bend your right elbow, and see if you can grab a finger. If you can, look up, or maybe look down. If you can't grab fingers, well then grab your shirt. And then of course, go the other way. And if you're still standing in line, and the people behind you haven't said anything, well of course, so what do they do? Right? Lift your right heel off the floor. And see if you can balance. And then if you can, lift your whole foot off the floor. Maybe even cross your right knee over your left knee. And if you start to wobble, just pretend that you're surfing. Or maybe bring your right toes all the way around and wrap them around your leg. And try to balance. And then of course, go the other way. Always do both sides. Now, if you're still standing in line, you've run out of things to do. Stand nice and tall, just like we did at the, at the beginning. And close your eyes. See how long you can keep your eyes closed before you feel like you're falling over. Or maybe you'll fall asleep and then you'll fall over. Or maybe keep your eyes closed until you absolutely have to open them because you think the line in front of you is gone and everybody's staring at you. And then if you're still standing in line, keep breathing. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Press your palms together. Start to straighten out your arms. You might want to avoid bending forward. That might get you the wrong kind of attention, but again, you know, who cares? Then the ultimate yoga in line. While you're standing there, wish for everything.
every person in front of you that they had so much happiness, so much good fortune, so much wealth that they would never, ever have to wait in a line. And then there'd be no one in front of you and you could